good afternoon uh, uh dear brothers and sisters indeed uh, i feel very happy and a great honor to speak this big gathering the opportunity to share some of my thought hopefully some as a use because we are same human being same being means emotionally mentally physically we are same and more important everyone by nature have a desire to have happy life joyful life and do not want any problem any suffering same 100% the same then everyone so long that kind of desire there everyone have same right to achieve happy life successful life communicate very easily no barrier if i talk faith religion then sometimes there's a barrier between religious person or non religious person there is a barrier <laughs> if i talk buddhism then within the believer <laughs> there is a barrier or uh, nationality basis speak from tibetan uh, then there's a barrier tibetan uh, american although nowadays is a many american tibetans also now there <laughs> uh, so we are talking uh, on fundamental human level that i feel very very important because uh, many problem which we are facing many problem essentially uh, human created problem that's clear so in that uh uh many the, many of these pro, man made problem or human made problem the other day i mentioned not only man made but women made problem also there <laughs> so it is a way the a problem which essentially our own creation the, that i think much come on secondary level that is different faith different color different social background uh different sort of nationality different political system different ideology these are secondary not fundamental i think in the fundamental level i think much less differences as i mentioned earlier therefore uh, when we facing many problem which essentially our own creation then the the way to tackle that we must find ways and means on the level of human being then i think we can uh, we can reduce this problem some extent 
So now here, uh, I think firstly, spirituality. I think there are two levels. One spirituality based on religion, faith. That's one category. Then another, there must be another level. That spirituality simply uh, on the basis of universal value. So not necessarily based on religious faith. So now if here I will talk something about that level. That level. <coughs> And also, I think, I think everybody, uh, I think, appreciate warm-heartedness, compassionate attitude, friendly attitude. Everybody appreciate that. Even animal, if we show them genuine love, kindness, affection. They also appreciate. And we too, when some pet showing us their affection, we feel very happy. So that's the universal. I think we, everybody, loves warm heartedness. The friendship comes from warm heartedness, not only sense of closeness, feeling but also a sense of concern of the well-being of the other. So there are also the sense of respect other and respect others' right. So these are the universal value. So now question is whether these inner value can it produce by mission? No. Can it produce by injection, drugs? Difficult. And then can we buy these values? Impossible. And through government regulation, or law can bring these things? Yes, I think to some extent, but not adequately. Ah. Not, not adequately. Not adequate. So then, another question, whether we can develop these things? All human beings? I think answer yes, because we all have same potential of that warm-heartedness or affection. Because <clears throat> I think quite simple. We. Now here, perhaps nearly 10,000 people, maybe here, we all come from our mother. Then, uh, at the time of our birth, and after a few years, our survival entirely depend on mother's care, mother's affection. Now I always see telling people my own case. My mother no not sort of educated 
just a religious uh, farmer. Uh, illiteracy, where? illiterate, 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 <clears throat> but very, very warm hearted person. Oh, I, I demonstrated what, what is she has inside. <laughs> so my mother is so kind hearted. One occasion, my mother, uh, you know, they approached by some Chinese who come from uh, in, uh, mainland China. Uh, from, from mainland China, <coughs> mainland or outer city interior. Interior. Uh, uh, almost starvation. So my mother, or actually the couple, nearly starvi starvation. And then carrying one dead child. Then my mother uh, uh, give all the sort of food, food which is available in, in our own house. And then also my help your dead body's cremation. 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 Then that is a couple. Uh, say, state how oh, they're so hungry so they're going to eat uh, that that body is sort of the no, body no. Uh, the heal to them so one incident like that so usually whenever some poor people uh, backing to her she always give everything like that so very kind, very, very kind. Almost I never saw my mother's anger. Always calm. Even some difficult period, my mother still calm. My father not like that. <laughs> very short temper, very short temper. <laughs> so therefore, uh, I believe certain amount of my sort of compassion or sense of sort of uh, concern of others' well-being. I think, the firstly, I learned that from my mother. So, as far as uh, compassion is concerned, my first teacher of that is my mother. So sometimes I jokingly say, telling people. My mother is so kind, so it, in, a, in some way, spoiled me. That means, when, when I was very young, uh, one year, two years, three years old, uh, my mother used to, use to carry me on her shoulders. shoulders. So then, I hold, I hold my mother's ear, to ear, when I want to go this direction, go like that. And want to go this way, like that. Oh. And if my mother, you see, they not sort of follow my sort of direction, uh, direction then I hit, hit. Oh, hit. hit. hit like that. <laughs> so, my mother, so kind, so gentle. So, uh, I become more Sport. aggressive, I think, <laughs> and bully my mother. <laughs> so, the, uh, now everybody at very young age, our survival totally depend, depend on who acting like mother. That's clear. So, according scientist, medical scientist, after birth, next few weeks, simply mother's physical touch, physical touch 
is one crucial factor for proper development of child's brain. Then obviously, I think here, uh, those, I think, individuals who receive maximum care at that age, I think you easily show compassion to other people. That those individuals who some way lacking affection from our mother at that period. I think nowadays you find more difficult to show affection to other. Do you always remain cold? That not only uh, attitude, but also the mental sort of mental state, state. Mental, state. mental state. Those people who early age very happy life, full of affection, their mental state much more stable, and through that way their physical. Uh, physical state condition. Physical condition also much better. Physical well-being also much better. Nowadays, the uh, scientific sort of scientific research now find indications that the peace of mind, calm mind, is a very crucial factor for happier hatred. It's very bad for our health. Anger, hatred there, or immense, I mean, great jealousy, these, these emotions there, then fear, unnecessary fear usually come. Calm mind, more compassionate mind, unnecessary sort of fear, fear. I think very rare. Because one's own heart is open. And because of one's own attitude, more compassionate attitude, so that person feels everyone is something your friend. Other hand, if some hatred here, that brings suspicion, that brings fear, that brings tension. So the medical scientists say, uh, they are say hatred, strong anger, fear, these actually eating our immune system. The calm mind, more compassionate mind, uh, the strengthening or uh, sustain our immune system like that. Then also, you see, one, some, some scientists, you see, they mention that those people who often, you see, uh, uh, express the word I, my, me, like that, such people have greater risk of heart attack. So although they didn't sort of uh, explain, uh, explain why? Ah. Why? Oh, the connection. Why? And I thought, and later I also discuss uh, with scientists, uh, naturally, uh, those people who, I mean, what's it, in their uh, Everyday word, language. Ah. <coughs> in their everyday language. Oh, the these word. I, I, I like that. That's certainly reflection of their mental state, mental attitude. So naturally, these people, I think, very much self-centered, extreme self-centered sort of attitude. So think just one, I, I like that. Then your whole mental sort of attitude then become narrow. And also, just think of oneself and all. 
But as a result, difficult to reach out easily with other people. So the feeling of loneliness also comes. Then also the more narrow-minded sort of attitude. Narrow. Vision. Your vision. Vision narrow. So even small problems appears unbearable. Whereas people who think about the well-being of others, then our mind becomes wider. So with that sort of wide end problem, then it appears not that much significance. So much easier to bear, to face it. So that I think it looked like that, Kasumata. If you look, if you look or analyze, then it seems like that. So therefore, no self-centered attitude, lack of affection. To other, it's very bad for our health. And some extent, I can tell you my own sort of experience. Of course, uh, I constantly, you see, was uh, experience of anger, agitation. <laughs> But generally, you see, my uh, mental attitude to other, more, so to say, as I mentioned earlier. Firstly, I always feel. We, everyone, six billion human being, just, just human being. I always look importance of that, rather their background or social, social sort of the status, status, or color. Or I don't care. Whether meeting with president or king, or royal family, or beggar, no differences. One makes differences. That is, so long, showing genuine human feeling. Feeling, <clears throat> and I feel very happy. Even the beggar. I think sometimes those, then those people who so-called upper class, upper class or more successful people, <clears throat> oh, their word, their physical attitude, may not. Show true feeling, <laughs> more sophisticated sort of thing. <laughs> so therefore, the, the, uh, so some people, of course, although you see showing uh, a smile, but uh, but sometimes smile artificial smile, or diplomatic smile, or s behind the smile, there's some some purpose, <laughs> like that. So therefore, the other day in San Francisco, I went to Kasa. Um, went to soup kitchen. Yeah. Soup kitchen, homeless. Uh, very nice. I really enjoy because everybody uh, is very straightforward and very innocent. I think very innocent. So I also introduce them. In a way, I also homeless. Last 50 years, now homeless. But a homeless person, ka, you know, homeless person found new happy homes. And actually, here is a Tibetan saying. Tibetan saying that the place wherever you feel come, that is your. Home. home, and whomever, where, yeah. whomever you receive kindness or loving kindness, care, that's your parent. So, I found everywhere. I think uh, people really showing kindness, and not only me, but many Tibetan, is find that wherever they. Canada. They live. They live. Uh, uh, they found many, as a day, living kindness like that. So, so in any way, 
You see, they, when I you see, meet you see, these homeless people, uh, I really enjoy uh, dining, dining, Kala, dining, dining <coughs> with them. And particularly, I met one on, on my table one, uh, as the African American. American. Oh, he also showed interest about the Buddhism. And when he laughs, his sound is very strong, very beautiful, very beautiful. So we chat, uh, I think, I think almost one hour uh, while we are dining, like that. So, the six billion human beings, basically same, as I mentioned before. So, the, uh, if we go fundamental level, as I mentioned earlier, no barrier. Uh, so I think that kind of my attitude really brings inner satisfaction, calm. And that also reflects my body. Last year, I had I gone through surgery. some surgery, uh, gallbladder remove. Uh, at that time, the concerned doctor described me uh, this young patient. He described me young patient. Then I told him, I'm not young. I'm over 73, three years old. Then he told me, yes, he knows your age, but your physical is something like in 60s. So, therefore, he described me as a young patient. He told me like that. So, these things, I believe, so I have nothing, nothing special. Or some people, you see, believe that Dalai Lama have miracle power. Nonsense. And also some people, you see, believe that Dalai Lama have healing power. If I have healing power, my healing power must use not taking this operation. <laughs> so this, this very fact, you see, through surgery, you see, they remove the gallbladder. Gold uh, gold <laughs> uh, that's the clear indication I have no healing power. <laughs> so those, uh, some, some people, you see, they seek my blessing with the belief that I have some healing power. Uh, that is a mistake. Uh, then you, you get so disappointment. Disappointment. So like that. So therefore, I'm just nothing. Just a human being. Just like you. We are the same. But differences, I think my calm mind really makes differences. My physical health and also peace of mind. Now, age 16, I lost my freedom. Age during this fall, I lost my own country. Now, 70, nearly 74. And during, the, I mean, uh, nine years since around 16 to uh, 20, 24, there's a constant fear, threat very difficult situation. Then last 50 years, it's a constant sad news from Tibet. And meantime, the problem is so big, entire Tibet population put hope and trust and much expectation. <clears throat> so my position is not an easy one. But uh, I think due to my practice of compassion and also I think I always used to follow more realistic attitude. Uh, now quite hot, quite, quite hot. I, th I think this is not sufficient now. <laughs>
Maya. So, chicken, you're the hammer. My cumin do. Cumin do do a bee. Yes. More more. So, this is. So through my own experience, from my own experience, I can tell you, uh, peace of mind really uh, has a really get a big benefit. Not only peace of mind, but also uh, physical. physical health. And also peace of, uh, and also the peace of mind really create peaceful atmosphere. So therefore, uh, realize this inner quality uh, and pay more attention about this inner quality is really worthwhile, really worthwhile. Uh, now the, the promotion, I mean the way to promote this inner value I usually uh, describe, I believe, uh, three ways. Number one, through theistic religious sort of approach. Say, uh, approach. Way, uh, way of approach. The concept of God, infinite love, all powerful, almighty, like that. That also very helpful to strengthen, to promote this inner value. Then second, non-theistic way. That is the law of causality. So if you do good for other, you get benefit. If you do harm on other, and you get uh, negative consequences. So therefore, if possible, help other, serve other as much as you can. If not, restrain harming, at least restrain harming other. So because of law of causality, for your own interest, you must restrain harming other. So that's one way of promoting this inner value. Then there must be a third one because six billion human beings, over six billion human beings uh, in reality, particularly when we're facing problem, uh, majority not much care about one's own belief. Religious belief. Religious belief. So there is, as it is saying in Tibet, uh, so at no. <clears throat> so Tibetan master once said, um, may said the following with respect to how people tend to relate to their religious faith. And he said that people generally will say, that the scriptures say such and such, but... Oh, but we have to uh, follow realistic way. <laughs> so if necessary to cheat, if necessary to bully other, if necessary to harm other like that. Uh, uh, so uh, we always say uh, justice, truthful. But when say, some money matter involved, uh, then telling lie, or hypocrisy, like that, uh, like that, isn't it? So therefore, uh, I think a majority of the six billion human beings, uh, I think not much uh, serious about one's own religious faith. So therefore, these people, firstly, majority, and then also these are human brothers, sisters. The, so we must find ways and means to reach to these people, the 
clear sort of awareness of inner values. So that I call secular way. Because these, oh, oh. So these, the basic sort of uh, human value, as I mentioned before, these are uh, come from our mother, uh, not come from religious faith. Of course, later religious faith also, you see, uh, immense help to sustain or to increase these things. So basically, just a universal value. Of course, animal, no religion but they also have the capacity to show affection to other. So therefore, the, this value itself, I consider secular values. So the way to promote this should be, I mean, sh should have more secular way. Now when I say, when I use the word secular here, does not mean the disrespect or rejection of religion, no. Uh, some people take sort of the interpretation or the meaning of secular me, seculars is some rejection of religion. When I say this, the according Indian, like Mahatma Gandhi, one of the, I think, modern, modern history, I think one of the main person who promoting secularism in India. And India's, or say the constitution itself, based on secular. Uh, but meantime, he himself, very much uh, religious minded. And he uh, recite some kind of hymns, are they? Hymns, religious hymns, hymns. From different traditions. And his follower, Always, you see, recite that, uh, hymns from, or quotations from different traditions. So, uh, Mahatma Gandhi's sort of practice, uh, respect all religions, no preference this religion or that religion. Uh, so therefore, they, uh, when I, when, According to this version, the secularism does not mean rejection of religion. Of course, in uh, like I think French Revolution and also the Bolshevik Revolution, and then during those period, I think secular uh, means something against the religion. That also, if if we go very precise not necessarily religious concept. No, nobody can sort of reject this sort of concept of love, compassion, forgiveness, tolerance, self-discipline. I mean, no base to reject these things. This we need. Uh, so then the rejection is, I think, aiming for institution. At that time, you know, the ruling class uh, very much sort of backing by the religious organization. Institutions. Institutions. Religious institutions. Religious institution. In the case of French king and also Russian Tsar, the religious institution backing and create impression that king or Tsar have some special blessing from God. So that manipulate ruling, ruling the people or suppress. Like that. So therefore, in order to break through Rehim or Shiva. To pull down. Uh, to, to destroy it. In order to destroy it, the Existing sort of system. royal uh, say, uh, authority. Uh, authority. Authority. You need 
विल पावर इवन टू एगेंस्ट गॉड बिकॉज द रूलिंग क्लास हैव स्पेशल ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम गॉड थ्रू चर्च सो सो लॉजिकली certain sort of circumstances is a need i think i mean it is some some relevant but usually particularly when i say secularism no meaning uh it's a disrespect religion in fact respect or religion and also respect non believer also as a human brother sisters they also have the same right they deserve our affection our concern clear so now third way to promote these inner values or now logically the secular way not touching with religion so usually when i give talk about the importance of inner value and as the compassion these things uh i approach through the secular way so now here also i am speaking these values without religious as the concept without touching religion without touching religion so now here use our common experience as i mentioned before from our mother we receive maximum affection that really makes our life different then common sense we ever, we are social animal social animal means individuals future related with the rest of the community so there must be uh, something to bind together money alone cannot bind human affection and sense of community sense of belonging re belonging or uh, sense of community these uh, bring as a happy community each member of the society full of hate with each other then how can develop happy community and community full of hate with each other suspicion uh, never bring benefit to individual right so uh, that's against our basic structure as a social animal therefore we say the the binding together as a social animal is affection compassion warm heartedness so if you have warm heartedness more compassionate attitude then mentally you feel uh uh your cousin your friend you feel or oh, my friend left you feel friend right you feel friend if you keep fear hated constantly here then you feel in front enemy this side also enemy this side also enemy clear imagine therefore the elimination and all enemy is impossible i think in history i think lost because the last heaven few hundred thousand i think nobody uh has Su- succeeded uh, succeed to complete their enemies uh, uh, eliminate all their enemies uh, eliminate uh, even stalin or mozdung uh, one person eliminate another person come another person eliminate another person come uh so when they September 11th event happened then i express in fact i wrote letter to president bush that that since i know him very well so therefore i wrote letter i think 12th 
uh, September. I, I wrote a letter and I express my condolence, my sadness. In the meantime, I also express the, the way they handle this problem, hopefully more non-violent way. So therefore, uh, around since then, you see, many occasions I express, if you handle this problem, uh, problem of terrorism, uh, more violent way, then today, one Bin Laden. Uh, next time, 10 Bin Laden. Then after that, 100 Bin Laden, possible. So, so hatred, anger, violence can defeat others physical, but never their mind. One person kill his or her relative, more grievance. Resentment. More resentment. Now, exactly now happening in Iraq and Afghanistan. And also quite similar in t inside Tibet also and Xinjiang also. More authority suppression, killing, uh, torture, more resentment. Like that. So therefore, they, uh, no one can eliminate all those dislike people. But there is always possible, even today's uh, unfriendly person, uh, eventually there is possibility to change uh, best friend, also possible. So therefore, uh, they so, in order to build happy society as a social animal, key factor is warm-heartedness. So that's common sense. Then, then scientific finding, as I mentioned before. Uh, now, more and more research about the connection between body or health, body health, and the mental state. No more kasore, evidence, the uh, close connection, peace of mind, compassionate mind, is very, very good for our health. So, so that's about uh, my talk. Kasare. Pastor. Path, ah. path to happiness and inner peace. Oh, path, path to happiness. Happiness and inner, inner peace. peace. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Through inner peace, genuine happiness comes. Isn't it? Happiness, two level. Happiness with the society. Happiness with the individual. In both cases, through inner peace. What do you think? Some sense? <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Just uh, I come here, just before I come here, you see some uh, some sort of uh, meeting, some uh, families. So one young person used to ask me, uh, what my sort of suggestion to young American, and I told, uh, I may sort of touch my public talk. But one thing I did not touch so far, that means uh, I also briefly mentioned to that person, the, in modern society, the all external facilities are marvelous. Uh, so the people in that kind of society and eventually become habit Always, you see, using our sensorial thing, eye, television, or some sort of show, some kind of play, like that, and the music, uh, like that. So when a person, uh, not much sort of, does not use these things, 
then feel lonely uncomfortable so here very important sensorial uh, sensorial thing important but these are not ultimate source of inner peace ultimate source of inner peace as i mentioned earlier our uh, inner value inner value not depend on sensorial experience ah. experience uh-huh. sensorial experience but mainly analytical or awareness so so therefore uh, pay more attention about our inner value or inner world it can be helpful now when when I, when i passing through sort of the so airport or like that when you see the uh the air delayed uh 30 minutes or 1 hour and some people too much sort of cuz what impatient uh, impatient agitated agitated, agitated. Uh, sometimes me too uh, but usually when you see the announce uh 30 minutes or 1 hour is a delay and i immediately you see close my eye and think some inner so sort of inner thing or another word instead of the visit outside but visit inner side go like that then 30 minutes 1 hour very rapidly go you see no need impatience whether in the plane whether in the, the waiting house uh, is it this same body same brain uh, same opportunity like that so therefore i think there are young people pay more attention about inner world that can be useful and uh, then also the other day in in san francisco i think berkeley berkeley university berkeley right. yeah berkeley university you know i stuff. mentioned i mentioned we tibetan last 50 years we have one slogan hope for the best but prepare for the worst so uh, right from the beginning we expect some difficulties then much easier when actual difficulty come if life too much easy uh, then some slight obstacle comes then too much ups and downs so therefore the young people um, should be more realistic and that kind of attitude may help so now some questions <clears throat> um your holiness how can we balance spirituality with the crazy modern world and do modern you modern ha- world not crazy but ourselves crazy <laughs> oh, i think <laughs> the if world really crazy then every other everybody on this planet i think must be crazy but that's not case so our self is crazy <laughs> so we can change our world i think change must then community level then national and in the in the in global level like that so that's my view hmm? <clears throat> um the same person asks do you have a pet pet eh? or sometimes you say i have one dog that dog now passed so every morning i remember that and then some prayer uh oh. um why do um relatively small a uh, number of individuals seem to face endless and constant suffering um in contrast to others who seem to have less illness less pain and loss how does one stay optimistic in the face of constant sorrow and pain yes now yes uh 
that's a good question. Well, I think, as I briefly mentioned, the realistic attitude is very helpful. Now here, when we face some problem, some tragedy, including physical illness or some of your friend loss, if you are a believer and believe God, then you must think, apparently these are tragedy, very bad, but creator, merciful, all-knowing, that one way. Then those person who believe law of causality, such as Buddhist, Karma. then, I mean, such as Buddhist, then we think about our past wrong deeds. Today's event, unfortunate event happened because of our past mistake, wrongdoing. So that helpful. Uh, they, they ultimately blame almost oneself, one's own mistake. So mentally, less agitation. Usually, something happens, we always blame on other. That, on top of suffering, also anger. Uh, that brings more kasoda, more suffering. Then another thing, non-believer. I think here, one Buddhist concept, that concept can be easily, you see, uh, bring in secular, secular thinking. Secular way. Ah. Uh, now the Buddhist concept, things are interrelated, interconnected. Things are relative. There's no one absolute. So here, one tragedy happened. Uh, but firstly, you see that tragedy, compare another one, even worse case, this better. And this tragedy, uh, some, uh, compare some other, then this is really tragedy, tragic. So, the, because of the different sort of appearance, if you look from different angle, same tragedy. Now, for example, we lost our own country, become refugee, last 50 years. If you look from that angle, only more sadness. But thinking, uh, try to look from another angle. Yes, this tragedy brings us a lot of new opportunity, meeting with different people, including many the follower of different tradition, different religious tradition, and also scientists and a variety of people, and also opportunity to talk. So thinking this line, that that sort of tragedy, one way, very sad, really tragic, tragic thing, but at the same time, some positives, also, positive things Aspect. also, you see, uh, create by that tragedy. So that's also is one way to look from different angle. And then any problem, if you look from closely, you feel more Unbearable. 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 But look from distance, uh, then think, oh, six billion, over six billion human beings, the similar sort of unfortunate things you see, many people may face or is facing. So remember that, not my own case. That also help to reduce our anxiety, our agitation. Uh, 
then this tragedy happened because its own causes and conditions. Then look, causes and conditions, then vast related. One tragedy, not absolute or independent, not independent. Due to this, this happened. Due to that, this happened. And not only present condition, but also the previous, the previous year, week, previous month, previous year, previous century, you see, they create today's sort of tragedy. Uh, so that brings us a concept. Now, this tragedy happened due to many, many factors. Then uh, your anger lost target. Usually our anger aiming one, simply one absolute target or independent target. So when we fail to find independent target, then our anger because of the soften. No. Uh, here one my friend or one scientist uh, when I met him, over 84 years or old, uh, he, and then, you see, in our conversation, you see, he told me, when we develop hatred or anger, the object which we develop anger, you see, that object appears full negative. Actually, the negativeness here, 90% of negativeness is mental projection. He mentioned. This exactly, Buddhist literature also mentioned that when, when, they, when they explain about destructive emotion develop, that is mentioned. So the, there are much sort of involvement of mental exaggeration. So therefore, when, t when look, uh, one t so some negative things, negative event happen, then think causes and conditions, that variety, vast sort of also the causes and conditions involved, uh, including your own behavior. So then intensity of anger will reduce. These are realistic approach. Then finally, uh, one sort of advice, the one tragedy, one tragic situation already happened, then think whether there is possibility to oh, overcome that, then no need worry, make attempt. If there is any way, no way to overcome that, then no use too much worry. Just think because of fact is fact, already happened then better to think some other field, some other sort of what's a day, uh, find to other opportunity like that. So realistic approach is very, very helpful when you are facing some problem. Usually I do that. Whenever I got one bad news, I immediately you see, try to look, oh, this, uh, what, what positive sight? I always look at then often I found some positive thing also that way. Uh, two, yes? Two, two last questions. What do you want to do? Yes. Um, how can we love everybody when there are people who are determined to not, not to let others live their life in their own way? Mm -hmm. Now here. Yeah. Uh, love or compassion. There are two levels. One level, mainly biological factor. That is limited, biased, and also oriented towards attitude. That is biological factor. Then another uh, level. level of compassion. That is 
not oriented attitude but rather being of the person like in case of human being uh, oriented to the human being humanity now here make distinction action and actor now the first one related or oriented to action so that as you mentioned is someone who really kasorda creating trouble uh, takes sort of uh, create trouble deliberately uh, then because that their attitude is negative so you can't you can't sort of feel compassion now second one since not oriented the attitude but the person therefore the disregard their attitude towards you but still they deserve compassion now here towards actor keep compassion towards action opposition oppose appropriate countermeasure that's necessary mari beta koi janda so is there someone who really uh, going to harm on you uh, without losing compassion towards that take appropriate measure or appropriate action that's very necessary in fact that's the better way to help other one because if others wrong doing let him or let her to continuously eventually more harmful to that so out of sense of concern of that long term consequences of the other wrong doing the try then try to stop is actually helping without losing sense of compassion sense of concern actually such action uh, carried by sense of concern of their well future ah. their well being their well being so that kind of compassion is unbiased although they develop on the seed of biological factors compassion but further increased by reasons by awareness by training so that second level of compassion is genuine compassion that we need that compassion combination with wisdom so through education i believe so through education we can bring that kind of compassion to humanity biological factor more or less there now that take as a seed then further kasoda cultivate it or cultivate through reasons through examples through stories i think we can we can develop that um how can we help free tibet thank you uh you are showing your sort of uh concern about justice a tibet issue is just issue and moral issue so usually i describe those supporters of tibetan issue not i, I do not consider as a pro tibetan but rather pro justice so now here i think people i think everybody i think knows you see we are thinking or committing a solution from broader sort of perspective no? broader perspective actually ultimately as i mentioned is the oneness of humanity uh, and also i always uh, look the admire european union spirit so we tibetan materially backward spiritually very much advanced 
So if we get full protection of our spirituality, our culture, including our language, then for as far as material development is concerned, it is our own interest remain within the people's problem China. So our struggle is one side to win, one side to lose, not that. But however, problem is the Chinese government is simply dismissed there is problem. <laughs> Just a few handful of people create this problem, the, including Dalai Lama. The, since last year, you see, they described me as a demon. <laughs> so I also, you see, acting, oh, now I call demon so with horn. So other day, some I used a friend used to ask me, why is the Chinese government. Chinese government is so much Officials afraid? Ah. Government, of, yeah, government. Uh, Chinese government is so much sort of afraid to you. Then I, then I responded, because my home. <laughs> so, so, it, so in any way, uh, so there you see the hardliner Chinese officials See, their thinking is very narrow-minded. So they don't care long-term consequences. Uh, so, so in any way, I'm not going to detail. Uh, so, they pro so therefore, uh, this moment, uh, I appealing to international, and also I appeal Chinese government uh, from time to time, please show to the world the reality reality of Tibet. The Chinese government always say, oh, people are very happy. Uh, last 50 years, much happier than the Alamos sort of rule. Or say rule. So now the reality must show to the world. If things like that, then Chinese government must be proud to show, to invite people instead of restriction. Uh, so therefore, please try to go to Tibet and study on the spot, not only autonomous region of Tibet, but also in the Amdo area, Kham area. What really, what, what is the reality? What, what is the causes of the trouble? Last winter, I met one Amdo, uh, Amdo with his friend, one Chinese businessman, came together, see me, and then Amdo, uh, his age, I think, nearly 70. Then he told me, grievance now expressed by today's younger generation. He mentioned like that. He concluded like that. So last 60 years, parent, grandparent suffer. A lot of grievance. That grievance Passed on. Passed on. They are uh, children. So these children become parents. They are grievance. Kasa. Passed on. No. Passed on. They are children. So three, four generations passed. A lot of grievance. So the Chinese government must kasa, realize that. So after uh, last year's crisis, at the beginning, I really hoped, hoped that now Chinese government may realize the reality. Otherwise, you see, their communist officials very expert, you see, to show something different than the reality. So one story, uh, last, I think two years ago, one Tibetan who visited his own native place near Lhasa. Now, when he uh, re reached there, the villagers welcomed him, headed by village chief. Village chief. So, uh, uh, the village chief, you see, uh, explained to him, now we are very happy, everything is very good, uh, the party very, very helpful to us, we have new building like that. Then, after one or two days, you see, one night he again visited that 
home of uh, chief village. No. Uh, then he asked, uh, what is the situation? Then he just opposite, opposite story. story. He says, oh, now, terrible. Everybody remain constant fear. And then new buildings, new houses uh, with some government sort of grant uh, money. But that money, not sufficient, not adequate in order to build according to the quality which is sort of decided by the government. government. So everybody who have new house, Purunjil should use. So uh, given that there was a certain standard that required by the government and the funding was not adequate, so everybody who had new homes were full of debts. So he mentioned it was very, very difficult. Then he asked, why then other day you mentioned Everything is very good. Then he answered, I have to say that way. <laughs> so always was a hypocritic way. So I thought, uh, now the Chinese government may realize this, the, the true picture of Tibet. So may start realistic approach. But then at the beginning, some mixture because of it signals. But then later, you see, the hardliner sort of, the short sighted sort of blunt sort of because policy. Of the, uh, Pol policy. Blind, sort of blind policy, now they carry simply crush or suppression. So, therefore, it is very, very useful. Go there, see, must be because of the very detailed research, just a short visit you can't get the real picture. So the Chinese government side also should not put any restriction. People must allow wherever they want to go. As far as safety is concerned, they themselves take, yes. take care, no problem. Like that. So ask Chinese embassy, visa, go there. Okay. Is very ex I think quite expensive, so you can borrow some money from here to there. <laughs> like, go there, and particularly media people go there. If things are as Chinese stated, things are really nice, very good, then my info, our information is wrong, so I must apologize. No problem. If things are really good, we have nothing to complain. Then our supporters also take rest. <laughs> if situation is not that, then please, uh, please, Kasore, be active more. Please continuously. Yes. Now, last question. Um, <clears throat> what is the single thing that we can do today to help the world be more at peace? Single, sir. Single thing. What is the single thing that we can do today? That I don't know. Things are complex. So difficult. Marve. I think that's unrealistic. If some miracle from sky, then maybe one single sort of <laughs> event can change the whole world. That's impossible. I think one thing we can do about ecology, our daily life, think about ecology. Save water. Save electricity. Did it? And also, then, I think global economic crisis, your lifestyle, a bit contented. Simpler. Ka. Simpler. 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 That good, isn't it? Although I noticed you see, in in previous times, uh, nowadays smaller car. So that also good. <laughs> So, some time ago, you see, in Japan, I express uh, your growth, uh, year by year, uh, growth always go like that. Uh, that not only autonomous region of Tibet, but also in Amdo area, Kham area. What really, what, what is reality? 
what, what is the causes of the trouble? Last winter, I met one Amdo, uh, Amdo with his friend, one Chinese businessman, came together, see me, and then Amdo, uh, his age, I think, nearly 70. Then he told me, grievance from gener through generations now expressed by today's younger generation. He mentioned like that. He concluded like that. So last 60 years, parent, grandparent suffer. A lot of grievance. That grievance passed on. Passed on. They are uh, children. So these children become parent. They are grievance. Sir. Passed on. No. Passed on. They are children. So three, four generations passed. A lot of grievance. So the Chinese government must realize that. So after uh, last year's crisis, at the beginning, I really hoped, hoped that now Chinese government may realize the reality. Otherwise, you see, they are communist officials, very expert, you see, to show something different than the reality. So one story, uh, last, I think two years ago, one Tibetan who visited his own native place near Lhasa. Now when he uh, re reached there, the villagers welcomed him, headed by village chief. Village chief. So uh, uh, the village chief, you see, uh, explained to him, now we are very happy, everything is very good, uh, the party very, very helpful to us, we have a new building like that. Then after one or two days, you see, one night he again visited that home of uh, chief village. No. Uh, then he asked, uh, what is the situation? Then he just opposite, opposite story. story. He says, oh, now, terrible. Everybody remain constant fear. And then new buildings, new houses uh, with some government sort of grant uh, money. But that money, not sufficient, not adequate the, in order to build according to the quality which is sort of decided by the government. government. So everybody who have new house, Purunjip Studios. So uh, given that there was a certain standard that required by the government and the funding was not adequate, so everybody who had new homes were full of debts. So he mentioned it was very, very difficult. Then he asked, why then other day? You mentioned everything is very good. Then he answered, I have to say that way. <laughs> so always was a hypocritical way. So I thought, uh, now the Chinese government may realize this, the, the true picture of Tibet. So may start realistic approach. But then at the beginning, there's some mixture because of signals. But then later, is it the hardliner sort of the short-sighted sort of blunt sort of because of the Pol policy. blind sort of blind policy. Now they carry simply crush or suppression. So therefore, it is very, very useful. Go there, see, must be because of that, very detailed research. Just a short visit, you can't get the real picture. So the Chinese government side also should not put any restriction. People must allow wherever they want to go. As far as safety is concerned, they themselves take, take care, no problem. Like that. So ask Chinese embassy, visa, go there. Okay. It's very ex I think quite expensive 
So you can borrow some money from here to there. <laughs> go there. And particularly media people, go there. If things are, as China stated, things are really nice, very good, then my info, our information is wrong. So I must apologize. No problem. If things are really good, we have nothing to complain. Then our supporters also take rest. <laughs> If situation is not that, then please, uh, please, Kasore, be active more. Now, last question. Um, <clears throat> what is the single thing that we can do today to help the world be more at peace? Single, sir. Single thing. What is the single thing that we can do today? That I don't know. Things are complex. So difficult. I think that's unrealistic. If some miracle from sky, then maybe one single sort of event can change the whole world. That's impossible. I think one thing we can do about ecology, our daily life, think about ecology. Save water, save electricity. Is it? And also then, I think global economic crisis, your lifestyle, bit contented. Simpler. Ka. Simpler. 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 That good, isn't it? Although I noticed, you see, in, in previous times, the American street, a lot of big car, and nowadays smaller car. So that also good. <laughs> So, some time ago, see, in Japan, I express uh, your growth, uh, year by year, uh, growth always go like that, uh, that there is no guarantee, go like this. There is limitation. Sooner or later, you will find some stagnation or worse. So that I predicted uh, many years ago. And then later, is some my Japanese friend you see, told me or oh, appreciate you see, my sort of uh, my thinking, my suggestion. No? Uh, the lim there is limitation. Now here, uh, I often say telling people, as far as material value is concerned, in any case there is limitation. Then. Mental value is concerned, no limitation. So where there is limit, limitation, better to content, better to practice of contentment. Content, contentment. Then the spiritual matter, mental sort of quality is concerned, no limitation, so should not content. But we usually opposite, isn't it? Material thing, we never content. We want more, one more, one more, one more. And the spiritual inner value is concerned, we're quite contented. I think that's opposite. That's a mistake, isn't it? So that's all. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you.